Seat Mi electric test drive. I will test the energy consumption at various speeds when the car has warmed up. 60, 80, 100 and 120 kilometers per hour speeds. I will do some testing and I will post the video how it will go. Okay, now I have driven a little bit on the city and I can see the energy consumption at Ido is half a kilowatt even to 0.8 kilowatts. So it consumes quite a lot of energy even while not doing anything with the car. Daylight running, running daylights are now on and average in the city driving for few kilometers of driving was 9.2 kilowatt hours uh, you can get with full tank 235 kilometers it says at the moment four kilometers I drove and total the car has only driven to 1600 kilometers average speed in the city was 24 kilometers per hour so far I have noticed that the uh, battery braking uh, charging is not working as efficient as in Lupo 3L because if you drive in the city and you pre press it, put it in the brake mode it will brake quite hard and you are not able to control it if you're just on the gas pedal if you use the normal brakes it will first start start to uh, charge and if you press much more it starts to break with normal brakes I think also but if you would like to glide in neutral like it does if it's on D mode I would like to switch to engine braking and gliding like it's possible in the Lupo 3L because that's that's the easiest way and there should be an easy way to change how how hard it is braking I saw it was brake number four I'm not sure what is it the hardest pr uh, engine braking mode or not but it should be adjustable easily that I can adjust it somehow nice and easy uh, I will now start doing some testing on the highway speeds Okay, for 80 kilometers per hour speed, uh, in 600 meters, 3 kilometers distance only driven this slow. Now you cannot hear much, even the wind anymore, so it's quite silent. Okay, now driving 100 kilometers per hour average speed with the cruise on. Uh, Average energy consumption 14.3 kilowatts. Driving distance 4 kilometers again with this speed. Uh, wind noise is much, much slower. With this, it's quite comfy to drive this speed. Concerning also the wind noise, the higher speed was quite loud. Concerning the wind noise, with this, it's quite a joy to drive at 100 kilometers per hour in the up or me, me electric with the cruise on 14.2 kilowatt hours next I will test the 80 kilometers per hour speed okay now I have driven 3 kilometers with the uh, cruise set to 120 kilometers per hour and the average energy consumption is 16.4 kilowatts at this speed all you can hear, if the car is pretty silent, you can just hear the wind noise, which is quite loud actually. In a normal car you would hear much more the engine sound. Not bad, just the energy consumption is pretty high, raising to 17 kilowatts in this uphill part. Now downhill, so it's getting a little bit lower again. Okay, now we are driving against the limiter, 130 km per hour is the axle speed, energy consumption 18.9 kWh. 3 
kilometers I have driven with this speed. Wind speed, wind noise is again quite high. Okay, some improvements for the aerodynamic is that you can install uh, engine under tray and then on the back also you have a lot of area where you can install a, a flat panel to make it smoother with this kind of modification energy consumption will drop about 11 about to 11 kilowatt hours at 100 kilometers per hour speed.